I'll try and capture this um, testing of the uh, PSU which I intend to use for the um, MDM removal and um, replacement for the uh, IMA system so you have a basic alternator function so uh, we've got the PSU here um, on top of my high voltage power supply the inputs are at the back for the high voltage and the low voltage output is at the front here I've just got a uh, voltmeter on the PSU just so I've adjusted it down to 13.8 volts this is actually a 15 volt 43 amp supply came in a nice box um, looks like a genuine mean well I got it from Mauser and at the moment I'm feeding it 280 volts DC and it's consuming 1.39 amps as we can see there and um, we're getting basically ignore this voltage it's not quite accurate but we're getting 25 amps output for um, 1.39 volts input so that's not a bad conversion obviously the higher the input voltage the more efficient or the uh, less current is required to do the conversion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, my power supply here can only supply 3.5 amps max so I'm going to turn the voltage down until it's um, supplying its maximum current and we'll see how low we can go so I'm turning the HV down and the supply is still outputting 25 amps now that's a now I've turned it down to um, the maximum that this high voltage power supply can supply and we're down to 113 volts now and it's still supplying 25 amps so what I'll do is I'll just turn the current, current da demand down a bit and we'll see how, see how much lower we can go so I'll just turn the current down so I'll turn the current down to turn the current down to 10 amps I'll turn the current down to 15 amps, that gives us a, that's a So we'll turn the current down to 15 amps and we're still at 113 volts so I'm going to continue to go down with the voltage and it's still supplying 15 amps still supplying, still supplying so we're down to 80 volts nearly now there we are, 80 volts and it's still supplying 15 amps I'll stop the current slightly. Okay, so we're now it's supplying 17 amps to the output now. And the input current is 3.5 amps at 80 volts. So it, it, the range, it looks like it's got the range to deal with probably almost all the IMA requests, or hopefully the speeds of the IMA motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the voltage back up again. fan starts running a bit faster so let's uh, let's imagine the average IMA voltage is going to be what do we reckon 100 and could easily be 170 180 volts so we'll put it we'll try 180 volts certainly for CVTs the voltage could be quite a bit higher so it's pulling 1.52 amps and it's supplying 17 so I'll turn the current up until it max out the power supply Yeah, I've over overcooked it there. My supply, I uh, tripped out my high voltage supply, and obviously you wouldn't have that with the. Uh, so I'll have to restart it. Right, we're off again. And the voltage up. So I need to give it a bit more voltage. Um, I need more voltage because my supply can't supply the current that the IMA, IMA motor would be able to. So I'm going to turn it up to 250 volts. So if you're probably revving the IMA hard, you could be getting this. And we'll crank on the current. The supply is uh, powering up. So, I'm just going to put it here. So, so it's, it's supplying 48 amps now even though it's only rated to 43 and we're supplying it 250 amps that's sorry 250 volt input voltage there so it's got a bit more than it says 
if I go any higher than about 49 it starts throttling back I'm going to do it so it's still supplying 40, uh, 46 amps so I'll turn it down a bit I'll turn it down to 43 which is its rated maximum this particular supply um, others may choose to use the 12 volt supply which can go up to 13.8 volts and you may well get more out of that if I'll turn up the input voltage a bit more because remember this supply is designed for use on 240 volts AC which will easily give over 300 volts um, DC so I'll turn it up to 290 so we're still getting 43 amps I'll crank up the current again see if it will go above 49 no, 49s, 48s about this supply's maximum current. But that will be still interesting to try that. So, there we go. It's chucking out 48 amps at the moment. It's accepting 290 volts input. Its um, case is not warm to the touch. Uh, I'll leave it running a bit. And it's pulling at 290 volts at 2.64 amps. I'll just write those down. So, it's pulling... 290 volts 2.64 amps and it's outputting 13.8 volts at uh, 48.7 amps so there we are so this is the supply I'm going to use it's very small it doesn't weigh much at all um, I haven't got any suitable scales to weigh it on but I think the uh, listed weight is 1.5 kilograms so that's about as much as I can test it really on the bench it's basically a question of fitting it and uh, seeing how we go if I turn the voltage, the output voltage down, I'll see if it'll actually supply more current. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the output voltage down to, say, 13 volts. A little adjuster here. And we'll just crank up the current and see if it'll supply more current. No, it'll still only supply 49 volts at the maximum, 49 amps at the maximum, this particular supply. But that's still about um, 4 or 5 amps over its rated, over its rating. So I'll turn it back up to 13.8 volts. 13.8 volts is a nice sweet spot for the uh, Honda 12 volt system. That's near enough, 13.81. So it go, it works, operates on this test down to 80 volts and up to 290 volts, which should cover the IMA motor operating range. We just add the bridge rectifier. Now this has actually got some rectifier diodes in it and you could actually remove those if you wanted to uh, get a slight increase in efficiency because it doesn't need two lots of rectifier diodes. It needs the special three phase rectifier uh, to bring it down to the uh, current that we're going to put into the back. So there we are at the minute. Still I'll just crank it up a bit. I'm going to leave it soaking at 48. Just... I'll leave it running at 48 amps for a bit and we'll see what uh, what it does and obviously this is my electronic load here so i hope that's proved interesting a bit to waffly i know but i think you get the gist of it the power supply looks to be a good unit and uh, it's putting out more than its rated power at the moment